right, Tuesday morning, Colfax High Wood Shop. Over here on our CNC router. Somebody left their cutting board there from yesterday. Oh, looks like we got X and Y backwards. Is that an issue? I guess if you use screws as a hold down. Oh, look at that. Ran the router bit, my brand new. Actually, quarter inch ball and mill I just bought last week right through two hardened screws. However, there is a solution, and I think it just came in the mail today. What do we have here, Tyler? Uh, some plastic nails. Open one of those up, let's see what we got. Oh, this is very exciting. Oh, yeah, this is the end. Oh! Woo! Look at that thing! Should we read the directions or just fire it up and see how it goes? That's what I, that's usually my policy too. All right. So here's our new nail gun. Let's see, uh, see if we could hook it up. There's a little protective plastic cap in there. Oh, I've been waiting for these. Here are the nails, so I got two different sizes. Um, they look just like regular pneumatic nails with the same size head. Um, these right here are one and a quarter. And then I also have three quarter inch nails here too. So here are the Raptor three quarter inch nails. Um, is there any big safety warnings? or? Hey, these are my these are safety glasses. So that's that's the safety on the tip. You have to depress that. Woo! Look at that. I've got some. Yeah, that's cool, huh? So here's just an off cut of I think some sycamore wood nails, and then we just. It's countersunk. I mean, I guess you could still wood fill over that hole if you wanted to, or if we turn down the pressure uh, and it stood a little bit proud, then you would be able to just sand that plastic flush. Oh, that's a pretty good hole. Oh, cool, this is very cool. You know, the other thing I was thinking that's super cool, Sammy, <laughs> is you know how we have like that uh, eight quarters slab and we need a mill. Mm -hmm. So we'll put it on a, another flat board out there and rather have to do all that complex strapping, we'll just be able to take a couple of nails on angle mm -hmm. and then toe nail those flaps down to another board on the mill and, then, and just let the blade run through the plastic. Oh, that's super cool. I love it. I love it. Raptor plastic nails for the CNC shop in the mill. When you put in the plastic nails on the CNC, how do you get the nails out? Can you just break them off or how do you get the board off the table? Oh, I don't know. That's a good question. You want to see? Well, this one, that the whole board is turned sideways and that's why it ran through the screws. So, oh, it looks like a power outage in the wood shop. <laughs> 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 Uh, I don't know, let's go ahead and see. So this board was all crooked. We won't be doing any CNC today without the power, so might as well shoot video. Um, and we'll have air in the pressure tank for a while. So I don't know, let's nail this thing down. We already have one there. So that's four nails in each corner, let's pull these screws out. Look at that screw right there. Unbelievable. Brand new bit too. Not one screw, but two. So the only thing holding this board down now are those plastic nails. I don't know, I mean, I turned the CNC 
on and just run it through here now that this board's screwed up anyway. Um, but the power's out. I just sat. Oh, that came out beautifully. So this this plastic nail popped out. This one broke. That one broke. And that one broke. And then we could just sand them flush. So that pulled that one out. Well, I think it's gonna work. I think it's gonna work well. Here's your webpage, RaptorNails.com. I'm in love so far. They're great.